This presentation is all about how the Canadian Government, with the help of the World Wildlife Fund and local Inuit within the Nunavut region, created Canada's first marine wildlife area in 2008. This is a small scale example of a sustainable management scheme which we are going to assess. The World Wildlife Fund wanted to protect an area that was key to the survival of lots of Arctic species. They worked with the Canadian government and carried out countless ecological surveys coming up with this stretch of ocean between Greenland and Canada. The protected area stretches from the Clyde River in Baffin Island outwards by 12 nautical miles covering 3,360 square kilometres of sea. This region included two deep underwater troughs which are rich in zooplankton, ideal food sources for the 70 ton bowhead whales. A shallow shelf at the entrance to the bay provides extra protection from predatory orca whales, making it a safe breeding ground for many marine species. Pause the show and make some notes on where this marine sanctuary is located. This case study is all about a small scale sustainable management scheme. It's very important that we understand this key term. Do you know what this means? This is all about responsibly looking after an area so that it can remain intact and not be spoiled. So with sustainable management that this habitat in the marine area here along the Clyde River will be protected for the future and that marine wildlife can breed safely here. Pause the show and ensure that you understand what sustainable management means before moving on. This case study is all about the sustainable management scheme to protect Arctic flora and fauna. This is based on a protected piece of ocean called a marine wildlife sanctuary. Do you know what these are? A marine wildlife sanctuary is an officially designated area that protects marine ecosystems. Human access to the sanctuary is restricted so that the wildlife can be further looked after and not spoilt by humans. It's hoped that this will provide a safe habitat for them and all the plants and animals in that ecosystem will thrive. Pause the show and write down what marine wildlife sanctuary means. The World Wildlife Fund, Canadian Government and the Inuit community spent 26 years carefully researching the best place to create a protection zone around which would support most local wildlife. At the time, the bowhead whales had been hunted to near extinction, so they chose this area because they migrate through the area in search of the zooplankton in the deep troughs. This has been found to be really successful these days, with 2,000 bowhead whales entering the wildlife sanctuary each year. It's not just the whales that benefit in this safe habitat, but also other aquatic fauna such as arctic char, ring seals and narwhals. Pause the show and ensure that you know which wildlife has been protected and how successful this marine wildlife sanctuary has been. The Clyde River area was chosen because it was felt that it would benefit not only the wildlife, but also respect Inuit traditions and their needs. The Arctic climate around here makes growing any fruit or veg impossible. As a result, the Inuit have therefore had to be seasonal hunters instead so that they can get enough food to survive. The Inuit have always hunted whale, known as Mukduk, because it provides them with a large meat supply and also vitamin C. The Inuit only hunt a few whale each year, sharing it out amongst the whole community and using nearly every single piece so nothing is wasted. Even the political activist group Greenpeace has supported the Inuit, since it's better just a few are killed rather than allowing commercial whalers from Norway and Japan to fish there instead. Pause the show and make some notes on the success of the Marine Wildlife Sanctuary for the local Inuit people. Although the Clyde River Marine Wildlife Sanctuary has many advantages, it's also worth looking at the other side of the argument. Many people put the economy before the environment. The area has the potential to be mined because it has fossil fuel deposits of oil and gas. Mining this could generate lots of wealth and gross national income for Canada. Tourism also generates lots of revenue. Large cruise ships used to enter the sanctuary waters to see the amazing scenery. However, it was felt they disturbed the migratory patterns of the bowhead whales, with some even being wounded by the ship's propellers. The cruise ships though want to return back to using these waters. These Arctic waters also provide commercial fisheries with lots of potential to earn lots of money from catching fish here. Illegal fishing regularly threatens the survival of the marine wildlife here. 
pause the show and make some notes about potential activities that the area could be used for rather than as the Marine Wildlife Sanctuary. Here we have a basic overview of the success of the Clyde River Sanctuary. The exam questions often ask you to assess or evaluate how effective something has been. In this case, it is whether or not the creation of this marine wildlife sanctuary since 2008 has been successful. At present, it would appear that the positives outweigh the negatives with a lot more points in favour of the sanctuary. Before the sanctuary was created, bowhead whales were threatened with extinction. Today, over 2,000 bowhead whales have been seen passing through the sanctuary. The Inuit indigenous people's lifestyle has been allowed to continue helping them survive and not have to migrate away from their homelands. They are even diversifying and running well spotting trips for tourists. A major success for the area came when the Inuit, along with the wildlife campaigners such as Greenpeace, managed to get a court injunction to stop mining exploration in the zone. Pause the show and ensure you have all the key points so you could evaluate the sanctuary's level of success. Remember, you may need to include also some of the negative points. This final screen shows a typical exam question asking to examine how successful one small scale example of sustainable management in either the Arctic or Antarctica has been. A classic mistake is writing about the wrong case study. It is not about the Antarctic Treaty, which is a global rather than small scale example. Notice I've also used the bug technique and box the command word examine and then underline the key elements of the question. I have underlined the word successful. A top answer would either repeat that term, such as they have been very successful in protecting bowhead whales, or use an alternative word such as advantageous or thriving. You could even link the answer to climate change and how that might affect the sanctuary in the future. Remember finally to always give an overall balanced response and revisit the question with a conclusion which weighs up the overall success or not of the sanctuary. Why not pause the show and look carefully at how best to answer this exam question about the Clyde River Marine Sanctuary. Hopefully this will help you get some extra marks. Good luck!